Today would be a very good day just to have a good day. With a little more love and a little more Music is magic. And what I mean by that is, you know, a lot of times people try to define like what is spirituality, what is um, this feeling that you have when suddenly you go from this place of um, despair into hope. You feel your body tingle, or you suddenly start to laugh or cry or dance or sing or high five a complete stranger or hug your best friend. And that ability to transform, it's impossible to quantify. And that's what we've based all of this on, is, is this belief that we have that music can truly change lives and get people from one moment to the next. Rockers Ball is an annual event that we do, and it is a gala fundraiser for Do It For The Love, which is our nonprofit. And it is a super fun event. It's not like a really structured kind of fundraiser. It it's, is... It's a gala our way. Yeah, a gala our way. The Franti way. After the last three years, we've realized that being well is no longer a physical thing. Being well is checking into your emotional and mental state. And our version of wellness is that you can have these transformative experiences, but you can also have fun too. We're here to raise funds for Do It For The Love, which is our nonprofit. And what we do is we send adults and children living in end stages of life-threatening illness, children with severe challenges and wounded veterans to live concerts. We use the power of music to heal and bring hope. And in those moments, it's joyful. It's, there's connection, there's play. And uh, with the Rockers Ball, we want to remind our incredible community and donors that that's what they're also fueling in the lives of these Wish Grant recipients. Well, 10 years ago, I was getting tweets from a woman named Hope December, and she said, my husband has very advanced stages of ALS. He's almost completely paralyzed, and you're his favorite artist, and he wants to come see a show. And we brought them to this festival, and they came on the side of the stage. I look over, and I see Steve, and he's whispering in Hope's ear, I want to get up and dance. And so with all her strength, she lifts his stiff body out of the wheelchair, they have this beautiful slow dance in front of 20,000 people who are now screaming, crying, laughing, cheering, calling out their names. And afterwards, I said to Steve, what did this mean to you? And Steve said, you know, people generally look the other way when they see me. But after that moment, suddenly I became Steve. And people were saying, Steve, come dance with us, come hang out with us, come have a beer with us. And he felt like a, a person again. And so Sara and I said, let's do this for as many families as we can. Just before my eighth birthday in 2005, I was diagnosed with brain and spine cancer. I've been in and out of treatment for 18 years, and now I'm just dealing with all the aftermath of all the treatment. I have a, a bracelet business, so I kind of try and support the Do It For The Love Foundation. I make bracelets with words on them, beaded bracelets, because I think words are very impactful. I'm really happy that I can be an inspiration for other people and hopefully help them through their journeys. We've done over 3,500 wishes and we've touched over 12,000 people. Music is something that's really powerful that we wanted to extend beyond these concert experiences. And so as a board, we decided to now expand our mission and fund clinical-based and music-based therapy programs. Music really helps me in every emotion or every leg in my life that I have. It's kind of like a self-care for me. I can plug in my headphones if I've had a bad day and kind of just escape for a while if I'm not ready to talk about what's happening. But it's also like a mood booster, it gets me going and happy and fun. You know, anytime I write a song, I'm always writing from my deepest place of emotion. And through Do It For The Love, we see families every night who are touched by music in those really deep moments. And not only my music, but all of the other artists that we send people to see. And I hear back from other artists that same thing, that it really just gives them a deep sense of purpose for their, their music.
to try to find a way that you can grow every day of your life. And serve the greater good means take those talents that you've either been blessed with or earned and, and give them back in some way to help. I know he's gonna give